What up folks, Alex here, Mr. Alex Tech, and yesterday I received this comment. It's a pity DaVinci does not export transitions with a transparent background. And you are correct. Now fortunately, I figured out a bit of a workaround. It doesn't work for all transitions, but it does work for the fusion transitions which are built into the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. Now this is a bit of a hack, it's a bit of a workaround, so it's not 100%, it can be a little bit iffy at times, but it's a nice quick fix if you're looking to create stinger transitions for your OBS, for your Twitch stream, really quickly and really easily, which I'm assuming is what you're trying to do when you ask this question, PX man. So, the quick caveat to all of this is it doesn't work particularly well when you've got lots of different tracks going on, lots of different elements within the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. So, what I found works better is build up your stinger transition, build up the thing that you want in DaVinci Resolve, use as many tracks, as many different things as you want, and then render it out as an MP4, as a standard video. So build it up, don't use any transitions, render it out as a normal video, and then re-import it into a new project or a new timeline, and then you can work on actually adding the alpha transitions, which is what I'm gonna show you how to do right now in DaVinci Resolve. Oh, one last quick thing, this also works exactly the same with images. So if you don't actually want to build anything up within DaVinci Resolve, instead you've just got a game wallpaper or you've got an image of some description, whatever, the exact same process will work with a JPEG as well. Just import it into DaVinci Resolve, follow these steps and you're good to go. Right, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve, we're on the edit tab. Now I've got this, I'm gonna drag this onto my timeline. This is a be right back screen for my Twitch. Now, I'll be completely honest, I didn't create this in DaVinci Resolve because I wanted something really quick for this video. I actually just grabbed this template straight off Canva, edited it on there and then downloaded it. Canva is free, there's a free version. There's a paid version as well, which I do, but there's a free version, so go check out Canva. Loads of cool stuff on there. So the first thing you're going to do, open up the effects library as normal, come down to the toolbox, video transitions. Now you have to ignore all of these top transitions because these ones don't work unfortunately, but scroll down until you get to the fusion transitions area and then all of the transitions in here will work, providing you do one extra step, which I'm gonna to get to in a minute. Now this is cool because it means all of these built-in fusion transitions will work and that includes any of the transitions you've downloaded from people like me and imported into DaVinci Resolve. So if you used any of my glitch transitions or whip transitions, you'll be able to do the same process to create your stinger transitions. But some of the inbuilt ones are actually really quite nice. So this one's called Camera Shake. Let's just put that on there. And if we hit play, it just shakes with this sort of RGB effect. That one's kind of cool. Circles is one of my personal favorites because it's just got these circles popping up like so. For most of these, if you give them a click, hop into the inspector, there's certain things you can change within there as well, just to sort of spice things up. So I can change the color of the circles, do all that sort of good stuff. If we scroll down, the fall and bounce is a nice one, where your screen just falls down and bounces into place. The foreground wipe is another particularly nice one, where you just get this, this sort of wipe effect across the screen like so. And then last but not least, there's another particularly good one down here. Warp is really quite cool. And then there's one just a little bit further up called Paint On. So let's just put the Paint On. And you've just got this Paint On effect like so. So I'm gonna go with Paint On at the beginning and Circles at the end. Now there's this one really important quick step you need to do to make this work. So give the first transition a click, the In transition, the one on the left hand side right click and you're going to open in the fusion page that will take you right into fusion make sure you've got the nodes open down here just by clicking on nodes up in the top left hand corner and what you need to do for this in transition the left transition we need to replace media in one so on this little toolbar in the middle of the screen grab this one over here called background and drag it on top of media in one and release and i'll ask you if you want to replace the media in one node Click on OK, give it a click so it's selected, open the inspector in the top right hand corner, make sure you're on tools, color, and then just grab this alpha and bring it down to zero. And that will mean that this is a proper alpha channel, so then we can export that as a transparent background. We're gonna jump back into the edit tab. We're gonna to go to the out transition, the one on the right hand side. We're gonna right click, open in the fusion page, same thing, but this time we need to replace media in two. 
So we're going to replace that with the background, click on OK, same place, inspector, pull the alpha all the way down to zero, like so, and then you're good to go. So if we just hop to deliver, I want to export this with an alpha channel. So all I need to do, give the file name and a location as you usually would. Then make sure your format is QuickTime, your codec is GoPro Cineform, and then the type is RGB 16 bit. Alternatively, if you're on Mac, you can instead choose QuickTime, Apple ProRes, and then Apple ProRes 422HQ. Once you've got either of those selected, you should see this export alpha box underneath. Give that a tick and then just add to render queue and render this out. Now at this point, you probably want to change this file into a WebM format using something like Shutter Encoder. I'm not going to show you how to do that because there are a load of tutorials already on YouTube showing exactly that. But actually, I'm just going to import the MP4 file with the alpha exactly as it is because it will work. It will just be a little bit slow. So here's my OBS. I'm going to come down to my scene transitions. I'm going to go to add a stinger, give it a name, click on OK. I'm going to grab my video file, which I just put on my desktop for the time being. Let's change my transition point to 2000. And now if we just scroll down and hit preview, you can see we've got our wipe paint on effect. And then we've got our circles on the outside. And there you go. It's as easy as that. A bunch of the fusion transitions actually look really, really good and they work really well. And then all you need to do is just do that first step beforehand, make sure to create the bit that you want, the actual stinger transition first, render it off, bring it back in, add your transitions, do the little workaround, and then you're good to go. So it's as easy as that, works really well, looks really cool, happy days. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up. Any thoughts or feedback or questions or anything else you'd like me to do or whatever, put them down in the comment section below. If you're new here, you enjoyed the video, nearly forgot, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. See ya.